I was just speaking to our pastor from Portugal and we told him to move the church from where he is to where the universities are so that the young people can be saved because young people are more easily saved, affected by the gospel than older ones. The Great Commission is Matthew, last chapter, Mark, last chapter, Luke, last chapter, John, last chapter. Every, and they are all a little different. Everything is all the last. And even in other books, it's the last thing. Yeah, it's amazing. So now when we go to Mark 16, highlights. There are four highlights or major areas there to look for again. Because in Mark 16, 15, and he said to them, go ye into all the world. Okay? Are you there? Go ye into all the world. All right? And preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. They shall recover. So after the Lord spoke unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. So what are the highlights of this one? Number one, going. Again, going is the only one that is repeated. Go again. Go ye. Matthew says, go ye therefore. But this one says, go ye. So again, you cannot get away from the need for movement. I was just speaking to our pastor from Portugal and we told him to move the church from where he is to where the universities are so that the young people can be saved because young people are more easily saved affected by the gospel than older ones. The Bible says that uh, the kingdom belongs to children. Do you see? So the younger you are and even the younger at heart you are, the more you are open. Jesus says, unless you become like this child, you cannot enter. So you have to find people who are either like a child in physical years or at heart to, so that they can enter. And if they are not either like children or children at heart, they, go, they don't go into things. So that's why I, so I told them, move the church nearer where all the children are. And never, never think that a young person is too young for God. Because now in the church when I'm preaching, I have small ones like this. They understand what you are saying. They have their own understanding. They write notes. They have understanding of all the things that are being said. Yeah. Rather than leaving them to hear things that they shouldn't hear. Or realize your child will be telling you that he's not a boy anymore. God forbid. Yeah. All right. So, going. Movement. 